Oh, man. Get out of the way, new kid. Come on, new kid. I don't got all day. <laughs> you know what? All right. Welcome back to another School Principal Reacts. My name is Brandon, and I'm a high school principal from the U.S. state of Georgia. I'm doing the second episode of Disney's Recess today by popular demand. This one's called The New Kid. I really enjoyed the previous episode, The Break-In, uh, which was the very first episode of the series. It was really not true to life, but it did bring up a lot of things uh, for school life, and I really enjoyed uh, reacting to it with you. Um, hopefully this one will be just as enjoyable. Let's go ahead and get into it. Just a reminder, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. Let's go. The New Kid. Three whole days and my little plant just won't grow. Hey, Lugnut, did you remember to put the seed in? <laughs> Oops. Okay, everybody know the plan? And growing a little plant like that, I have seen that many times before. A common little uh, school project. We're with you, TJ. Good. Then let's do it. Oh, no. What now? Miss Grokey, Miss Grokey. Yes, Gretchen. Do we have a problem with... Okay, I was wondering, is there more than one teacher in this school? Uh, the first episode I saw... A lunch lady at the very beginning for like two seconds, and then I saw one teacher, and I saw kindergartners and fourth graders and sixth graders and just one teacher for the whole school. So I'm curious to see if they do a little better this time with their their uh, supervision. With our assignment focusality. Oh, no, Miss Grokey, I'm quite clear on the basic postulate of light and no light, but I'm more interested in the effects of nitrogen-rich soil. Well, uh, gee, uh, I don't know. Or perhaps mm. richer fertilizer like a nitrophosphorus blend. I've also heard a rumor about carbon Oh no. Stealing. The key. Oh. I see. All right. So, yeah, it's pretty funny and kind of cute, but not very realistic. So this girl distracts the teacher so that they can go steal from the teacher's desk, uh, which is a huge no-no. And there's a key that says the key on it. A little piece of truth there. Usually a classroom teacher like that is going to have one key and that key goes to their classroom and maybe some other doors in the school, depending on how it's laid out but typically just one key, but they're going to carry it like in their pocket or around their neck or something like that, not leave it in their desk. And the key seems to go to the clock, which is really weird. I've never seen that. And somehow when they move this clock, the clock outside the school moves, which wouldn't happen either. They're able to get on top of each other like that with her not even noticing at all. Um, yeah, a lot of things wrong here, but I'm curious to see what they do with it, making it 10 o'clock when it's not really 10 o'clock. What the? <laughs> Recess already? I must be having trouble with my inner clock. Mm. Oh well, class dismissed. <laughs> uh oh. Miss Kirkland, Lieutenant Griswold, USMC, reporting to deploy my. USMC. Okay. And who is this guy? Um. And I guess this was, uh, I think this was the late 90s, so before the days of uh, too many cell phones, uh, particularly smartphones. So she uh, she may not know what time it is without looking at a watch or something like that. I guess she's not wearing one. Son. Deploy? Yes, ma'am. My boy Gustav has been assigned to your barracks. Okay. I mean class. Any guy named Gustav is bound to be trouble. Well, we're always happy to welcome a new student to our circle of friends. Um, where is Gustav? Private, report. Come on. That's Gustav. Well, my duty here is done. Miss Grokey, boys and girls. Come on. Oh, well, welcome to our little classroom family, Gustav. Why don't you describe for us a bit of your personal journey? Well, my name is Gus. I've been to 12 schools in the past six years. And my only friend is a pet snake named Herbert. Mm. Yeah, and while a lot of what the uh, dad said was kind of crazy and would never happen in real life, uh, military families do have to move from time to time. He says 12 schools in six years or something like that. That is that is quite a lot. 
it's usually not quite that bad, but they do tend to move around a lot. And so to have to change schools way more frequently than most other kids. Yeah, that does happen. Now, I haven't heard about people having to change as quickly as this guy's describing, but uh, yeah, there's a little bit of truth to that. Uh, Miss Grokey? Yes, Willie? Can we go to recess now? Well, he's certainly... <laughs> Excuse me, but is that kind of early for recess? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. It's part of our daily ritual. We always go to recess at 10. But it's... Oh, Come yeah. on, Gus! I'll show you around. <laughs> Yeah, he's got a watch on. Um, and this guy, TJ, he he seems to be a troublemaker. I know he's the main character. He seems to be a troublemaker. And by the way, if this teacher really allowed them to do that, to get one over on her that much, and then sent them out to recess uh, when they weren't supposed to go, uh, which, by the way, she should be going with them and not just sending them out, that teacher would be in some trouble probably. But let's see what happens. Don't Solar watches. I'm going to have to stop buying out of the whole uh, catalog. Come on. No one there they are digging. Station. They're basically harmless, but you could get a nasty wedgie if you catch them in a bad mood. Uh, TJ, can I speak to you in private? Sure. You guys introduce Gus to the bug eating kid. We'll catch up. What are you doing? You know the bug rules. You're not even supposed to talk to a kid like him for at least 48 hours. A kid like him? What do you mean a kid like him? You know, a new kid. Mm. Oh, come on, Vince. I'm not going to say anything. You're not going to say anything. The rest of the class isn't going to say anything. Who's going to know? Yeah. And way back over there is where they keep the kindergartners pinned up. You wouldn't want to go <laughs> over there. I'll say. Last kid who wandered over there, they never saw him again. Nah, poor guy. Right. He might have just got transferred or something. No, it's not that. It's just I've been to 12 schools in six years, and nobody's mm. ever been so nice to me before. It's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Things are different now. Yeah. Here, you'll always have friends. <gasps> Sixth it's... graders. Uh, come on. Who... No. That? King Bob, he runs the place. Just act real humble. But whatever you do, don't say you're a halt. Who are you? Oh, uh, mm. hey there, Bob, your majesty, sir. This is, uh, Gus Griswold. He's, uh, well, he's, uh, I'm a new kid. Mm. A new kid, eh? We haven't had a new kid around here lately. Where's the old new kid? Uh, here I am, your highness. New kid, you are no longer the new kid. <laughs> From now on, you are, you are, uh, Morris P. Hingle. Right. You are Morris P. Hingle again. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. Easy on the ring, huh? I got a name! I got a name! I'm not a nobody anymore! <laughs> Behold! We have a new new kid! From now on, what is this? known as the new kid! The new kid and nothing else! A new kid. <laughs> How bad can it be? I don't know, we'll see. Watch it, new kid. Oh, oh man. Out of the way, new kid. Come on, new kid. I don't got all day. <laughs> oh, and when they're like stomping on him, I'm thinking, okay, the bus driver's going to say something and help him. And then she's like, all right, come on. I don't got all day while he's on the floor having been trampled. <laughs> Horrible. Supposed to sit. <laughs> New kid. <sighs> Willie. Here. Meg. Which is a little odd because at a lot of schools, like kids want to sit in the back. Like it's uh, cool somehow or they, they just like it for whatever reason. Most places I've been. So that's kind of unusual. So they, they put him in the back and it, I noticed it was a little messed up, the seat back there. Yeah. yeah. New kid. <laughs> even the teacher says it new kid no no that would not happen but okay wow this is this is a little crazy here here hmm. i'll take Petey. new kid there we go i'll take phil i'll take Dwayne. okay that's everybody oh uh, what about me <laughs> That's horrible. He, I was thinking, yeah, they're going to pick him, but they're going to call him New Kid. 
but they pretend like he doesn't exist and like that's everybody and they just walk off <laughs> that's really bad huh oh sorry but according to the constitution of the playground <laughs> section three paragraph two under kickball <clears throat> no new kids mm, doesn't even get to play that's sad No, oh, come on. No! Look at the bright side. Lots of people have gone through life without names, and they've done fine. Oh, yeah? <laughs> like who? Well, like the artist formerly known as Prince, the unknown soldier, the other four guys in the Jackson 5. <laughs> I might as well face it. I'm nothing but a loser, a nobody, a kid with no name. Even my snake won't look me in the eye anymore. See you guys later, if I don't shrivel up and blow away first. Dust in the wind. All... Mmm, it just gets worse and worse. And I keep thinking, like, most schools now try to do the exact opposite. Now, there's situations where lesser versions of this happen. I have seen it where a kid feels this way and is not really welcomed in. But generally, the places I've been, new student, you know... You're going to try at least to uh, integrate them into your school and make them feel welcome and make sure they have everything they need. Make sure they understand the schedule. Just help them to uh, get through their first several days successfully. So this guy with the new kid and uh, the teacher calls him that. And even at home, his toothbrush is labeled new kid. And it's just this is horrible bad beyond bad but let's see what what happens here you know that kid is really starting to bug me hey how would you feel if they took away your name yeah rules and no rules i sure wish we could help the guy hey maybe we can help him what are you talking about tj maybe we can give him back his name i got some favors i can call him heck a lot of kids would do it for nothing yes sir when we're through he'll do? never be the new kid again he'll be he'll be um what was his name again <laughs> He forgot Gust. Fat man to little boy. Elvis has left the building. Roger, little boy standing by. Roger, lucky lady standing by. Uh -huh. Roger, music fan standing by. Roger already. Let's get this show in the road. What's she doing? Okay, Operation Gustav is a go. Move, move, move. How's it going, Gus? Oh. Oh, fine, you know. Hi, Gus. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Hey, eh, Gus? Up on the bus, Gus! Mm -hmm. Hey, Gus! Hiya, Gus. What's happening, Gus? How'd they do that? Thanks to me, Gus. What's going on here? Going on? Why, nothing's going on, Gus. <laughs> <Just go. laughs> okay, wow. That's the exact hey, opposite. This way, Gus. <laughs> and you know now it's just as crazy in the opposite direction and while this is way over the top again most schools do try to welcome a new student in and make them feel uh welcome at the beginning of their their time with them wow okay <laughs> that you than a new kid. Maybe I am somebody. Maybe I really do have a name. <laughs> Sixth graders. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Barely recognizes the new kid. But, but, you guys all know me. Billy, Rachel, Priest. What about you guys? You know who I am, right? How can we know who you are? Uh oh. You don't even know who you are. New kid. I am not a new kid. I am a human being. Don't tell us. Tell him. Mm. Ooh, the king. Right. I will. Gus, 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 <laughs> Gus, 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 Gus. Hey, who's blocking the way down there? Oh, it's you, new kid. Move aside. Sorry, Bob, not this time. What? You can't talk to me like that. Oh, yeah? Well, just watch me. 
All my life I've been treated like a nobody, ignored by kids because they didn't know me, given the worst stuff because everybody else got their first, made to eat paste. And why? Just because I was the new kid. Mm, yeah, um, and based on what he says, this is the 12th time he's been a new kid. Again, I've never heard of anybody changing schools quite that often, but um, if you're in a military family, you do uh, sometimes have to change schools more than other kids do. But then I come to this school, and for the first time in my life, a bunch of kids treat me like a friend. Then you came along and made me a nobody again. Mm. Would you listen here, Bob, who mm. graduated and made you king? I am not a nobody. I am a somebody. I am Gus P. Griswold. You hear me, Gus P. Griswold! So, what's your point? Well, <laughs> I want my name back. That's my point. Okay, you can have your name back. That's it? What do you want, a parade? You got your name back. Now get out of the way. You hear that? <laughs> I got my name back. I'm not a nobody. I got a name. I got a name. Yeah! It's not fair. He only had to be the new kid for a few days. I had to do it for three whole years. Mm. Hey, you should have said something. All right, so that's the episode. Um, good for Gus. He stood up for himself, and then um, he was fine after that. On one hand, I wonder, you know, why are the kids so swayed by whatever this kid says? But I do know versions of that have happened, not quite to this extent, but, you know, certain kids being kind of a bully and people being swayed by them, that does happen in schools, particularly with uh, some of the younger kids. But um, I did enjoy that. It was a little dark, to be honest, and very uh, exaggerated in the way things are presented, much like the first episode. But it has origins from real life, but not quite that realistic. But good for Gus. Stood up for himself and got his name back, and he's he was no longer the new kid. I don't know if he'll be in future episodes also, but I guess we'll see. But enjoyed that one. Again, uh, thanks for the recommendation. I plan to look at some more of these, but I enjoyed it. Hope you did, too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed, and I'll see you next time on School Principal Reacts. Thanks for watching.